it never hurts every now and then to have a little deception in your flag football offense. So the thing you want to try to do, though, is make sure that you don't make it any more complicated than it needs to be. And this is an adult version. We're going to look at the uh, youth version, too, of this flag football hook and ladder, hook and lateral. There's a lot of different ways that people call it. But essentially, you want to keep it very simple for everybody involved. So you've got your quarterback here uh, in the gun, in the pistol. <clears throat> They're going to take that snap, and they want to take a three-step drop even, even from the pistol. Put that third step in the ground. The timing between the quarterback and the Y in this case needs to be the same as it is every other time you throw a hook, a curl. That Y needs to explode off the ball. I mean, sell the deep ball all the way till they get to 12 yards. Put the right foot in the ground, all right, plant it and come directly back to the quarterback, just like you would if you were uh, going to just run the curl or the hook route. Now, the ball has to be out. You can't let this uh, Y plant and come back so far that they're going to uh, screw up the relationship with the center here. So, Ball needs to be out, and then the Y needs to come back with a little bit of tempo. That ball needs to be delivered right on the numbers, between the numbers. The Y will never tuck the ball. Just have the ball out in front, and now what you're going to do is you're going to flip it to the center who goes up at eight yards, once again, for a little bit of tempo, puts their left foot in the ground, comes across, and they're going to take this pitch uh, from the Y on the hook and lateral part and then obviously turn up after you get past the Y. The Z needs to push up to 12 and get the person, get the defender out of there. Maybe take a safety at the same time. Everybody over here is just window dressing to the weak side. You can have your H over here if you need them as a, uh, a last second rescue uh, route if you need it. So anyway, balls out to the Y, flip it to the center, center, put your foot in the ground, and you should be in good shape. Now, if I'm running this at a youth version, uh, at a youth level, you can see where you want to really make sure that you cut your splits down. You might even want to put your center, uh, excuse me, your quarterback underneath your center and just get your route depths down to maybe 10, maybe even 8. Because all that really is going to happen is the defense is going to break up on that curl route. They're going to break up on that hook route. Once again, you could run this play probably, I worked for a head coach in the NFL that thought that you could run this play probably every game just because of the way the defenders break up once the ball is thrown. And then that really helps you on the second level. If everybody's breaking up on the hook, all right, the lateral to the center can go. The other thing before we leave today that's really good about this play is that if you don't necessarily want it to be the center, all right, you could actually let it be your slot receiver from the other side. And then you could take your center. Obviously, you would rename it, take your center, run them out of there. But you could actually do it that way and get this play run to where it comes from your receiver to the opposite side too. Several different ways, but a good idea to have a little bit of deception in your flag football game plan, whether you're dealing with the youth or with the varsity level.